Spartan Kid Outdoors Army, what is going on? It is Sunday, July 16th, and we are here at the river trying to smack some bass in the mouth with some spooks, some frogs, whatever it'll take. Today's objective is definitely top water. I did bring uh, some spinning gear just in case with a Ned rig on it. Just in case. And uh, yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you exactly what we're gonna be using to try to smack these bass in the mouth uh, once we get to the spot. So stay tuned guys. Hopefully we get some dope blow ups. And uh, yeah, so we'll see you guys in just a minute. The spot's right over there. We're almost there. All right guys, we are here. Doesn't this just look so prime for top water? Um, you know what would have been super cool is if something blew up right behind me as I said that that would have been dope but let's get into it let's show you guys what we are going to be using um, oh look there's a blow up right there actually hopefully you guys can see that um, but I'm going to show you guys what we are going to be using to try to to try to get some top water bass and it actually came in this most like a tackle box <clears throat> so, not too sure about this thing, but it is a buzz bait. Got us um, some popping shads by Z Man. We got us some hooks, a spook, and some soft, some soft body frogs. So that's what we're going to be using. I'm probably going to use these hooks to rig up the popping shad and probably the frogs. I'm going to try to stick to using only, to try to use only the contents in that box. Um, I guess call it a slam, I guess not, because I, I will be using the Ned rig and whatnot when the sun comes up. So let's get tight on. Let's start walking some spooks and slapping some bass stay tuned all right guys so they're definitely blowing up the first thing i'm tying on is that is a spook that was in that box um it looks pretty cool it might mimic uh, some of the bait fish that are in here but they're jumping everywhere like everywhere and now there is there is a ton of carp in here so it could be carp that we're seeing blow up, but this thing walks fairly decent, so. All right, guys. Well, <laughs> we lost all the line on the bait caster because one, one really crappy cast. So we are just gonna move on over to this popping chad. Looks good. Looks good. On the spinning reel. Uh, everything we're going to have to put on the spinning reel now because... <laughs> because we lost all the line. And I don't have any spare line. So, it took me about 20 minutes to get that thing unraveled. There's one. Man, that was quick. Oh, would you get wrapped around? Come on. Get yourself off of it. Come on and wrap yourself. Yeah. Yeah. 
yeah that was quick let's get over here easy buddy easy we'll get you unhooked and here it is fish number one out of that uh, Z-Man Z-Man popping shed let's let this guy go and let's see if we can't get another one sweet and let's do this let's go over by that log again I think that's going to be the ticket over there because they're jumping over there this is awesome so like I said guys this is what the LTB box is all about any of these boxes LTB MTB it's about signing up they send you new unique baits that you probably never tried some you might um, but they just introduce you to more baits and you get them way cheaper than you would if you're buying them retail so you pay 15 bucks a month and they send you a box full of baits and you try them out if you like them then you go back and you buy more of them like it depending on how I keep doing with this thing I'm gonna buy more more of these popping chats I would have never thought to use a soft plastic popping chat but they work They make such a nice chug. It's like bloop. I like these popping chat. There's one. Oh, he had it. He had it. He had it. He had it. Okay. Okay. Come on. He had it too. Dang it, dang it, dang it. He's just missing it. He's just missing it. Oh, there's a fish. He's swimming right for me. He's not big, but he's a fighter.
Oh yeah, he's a good size. Oh what? A good size, Molly. Here we go. Come on, buddy. Sit still. Let me help you here. Here's another smallie. There he is. Fish number two on that poppin' chad. I think I'm just gonna keep throwing the poppin' chad. I don't know that the the other ones are working to my favor, but keep throwing the poppin' chad. Alright, let's let this guy go. Oh, go. There he goes. And he's off. He was a good, better sized fish. Good deal. Just keep throwing that pop in chat for now. It looks like that's that's what they're liking. Alright guys. That was dope. That was so dope. I'm so glad I finally got on some topwater fish for the first time this year. Last year this time, man, I couldn't tell you how many. That's all we were catching them on is top water and drop shots. Um, but that was on the kayak. That was at a spot that we're going to be going to next week as soon as Jackson stops being a baby. <laughs> um, but yeah, we got three fish on that pop shad from that lucky tackle box. Um, those are awesome. I would have never thought... Um, I didn't even know that was a thing. Soft plastic poppers. I didn't know that was a thing. But definitely glad I have some. And they're super durable. They, uh, that thing did not tear. So I still got three whole uh, popping shads and I'm going to be able to use them again. So I am going to tie on the Ned Rig. I am going to toss that around for a little bit. And then uh, I'm going to head out to one other spot to see if we can't catch some more. And yeah, man. Super, super pumped that I got some blow-ups. Hopefully, I caught them on on the GoPro, and we'll just keep going. Let's see, let's see if we can't smack any more bass in the mouth. Oh my god! Oh yes! Oh, yes! Oh! <laughs> Give me some life. Yes. Come on, baby. Come this way. <laughs> All over the net ring. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's a fatty. Oh, wait. Hit him with the. Dude, that's a heavy son of a gun. Nice. Do you got your scale on you? Yeah, I do. Dude, this thing's a chunk. Get this Ned Rig out of him. Yes. Dude, look at the size of this Smalley here. Oh, man. He's heavy, too. He's dense. Oh man, I'm going to say two pounds at least, at least if not more, whew, good deal, alright, look at this hunky girl man, at least, at least 21 inches, let's get a weight on her, if we could, hold on, some kilograms, there we go, let's get a weight on her here, good, we're good, Two pounds. 2.2. Two. All right, let's let this baby girl go. Go right now. Whew. Thank you for letting me catch you. Whew. There we go. You're free. There she goes. Whew. That was awesome. Heck yeah. I told you guys. I told you guys we'd catch some fish. Um, Jackson, credit to him for sure. He saw her come out of the come out of the woodwork, and um, he said, "Hey, throw your bait right here, right now." Uh, I watched her just kind of 
go nose down on it and just chomp it. Man, that was a fat, fat small mouth. Let's see if we can't get any more, guys. All right, guys, so we haven't caught any more fish. Oh, so we haven't caught any more fish. We are, the top water bite definitely slowed down. The Ned rig right now isn't working. Um, I don't know what's going on with that, but we are going to go try one more spot. Uh, the old stomping grounds, aka the boat launch, and see if we can't get on any bass over there. So I'm in for a pretty decent walk back to the car. I'll probably spool the bait caster back up and, and get something on that. And yeah, we'll just see you guys out on the out on the water at the boat launch. All right guys, we are here at location number two. This is gonna be the final stop for me. I was gonna try one other place besides here. I met a guy over there, he was telling me about a spot um, that'd be pretty pretty good for, for some bass. I think I'll try that next time. Um, but here we are at the Dayton boat launch and we are gonna see if we can't get some fish. I haven't gotten one out of here this year. Last year it was super prime for fishing, so we'll see if we can't get any. So stay tuned guys, let's get down there. All right, last cast. All right guys. And that's gonna be all she wrote. We will see you guys up at the car. All right guys, that's gonna be all she wrote for today's episode. Um, while editing this video, I realized I never even came back and talked to you guys uh, at the car like I said I would. Um, and I also noticed that I wasn't recording for one of the three fish that I caught on the top water. So that's kind of a bummer. So I threw in um, a catch from earlier this week that didn't quite make the cut to make a video out of because it was just one fish uh, that I caught on the Ned rig with Jackson. It was a two pound smallie and he was nice. Um, so like share and subscribe guys the video for the giveaway is coming i've tried doing the challenge a few times and failed miserably but if you guys enjoyed this video drop a like drop a comment let me know that you liked it and let me know what you want to see please like share and subscribe and we will catch you guys on another episode of spartan kid outdoors we'll see you guys later